this video is to demonstrate how to turn on and operate your Al Alaris IV pump. We are first going to turn the system on. Once you have pressed it, it's going to do a self check. So you have to kind of let it set for a minute and it'll um, beep when it's finished. It seems like it takes a while, but it really is only a few seconds. It's going to ask you, is this a new patient or is this a previous patient? We're, for our purposes, going to say, yes, this is a new patient. It's going to also ask you, which floor are you on? And we are going to say, for our purposes, again, med surge. It's then going to ask you for your patient ID. This is going to be on your patient um, wristband, and it's going to start with the F. So we're going to hit the F key, and then we're going to follow it with the numbers on the wristband. But for our demonstration purposes, I'm going to enter zero. Once you've completed your patient ID, enter, you're going to hit confirm. And then it's going to ask you which channel you want to run your fluids on. You can have up to four um, chambers or channels. For this pump, we just have one channel. So this is telling us this is channel A. So I want to select channel A for my IV fluids. And then it's going to ask me, am I going to give a medication? Am I going to run IV fluids or a basic infusion? We want to hit guardrail IV fluids. And then we're just going to run a maintenance IV for this uh, demonstration. So it's going to say maintenance IV fluids was selected. Is this correct? Yes. If it wasn't, you would hit no and you would have the chance to reselect. So I'm going to touch the button next to the rate. I'm going to have my rate at 125 based on my doctor's order and then I'm going to hit my volume to be infused, which is the amount that you want to be delivered. And I'm going to enter that volume amount. And it's going to say, is this, red? Is this correct? I've just determined that is correct. I'm gonna hit start. And you know that you're good when you have green. Green means go. So that's telling me that my IV fluids is running correctly. It's also going to tell me what my rate that the physician has ordered on the pump. It's going to tell me what I have running, so this is a maintenance IV. And then I also like to check to make sure that I can visually see drops falling from my IV bag. So you can see here the drops um, falling or coming out of your um, IV bag. So now that it, the IV is running, if I want to check to see how much volume has infused so at the end of your shift you want to do that so I'm going to touch the volume infused button it's going to tell me here for channel A I have had 1.80 mls run typically it would be more based on the length of time your so I can see how much volume I've had and if I want to clear it I can hit clear all and it's going to take my total volume infused back down to zero. So for example, you would do that at the end of your shift. And then once you have cleared it, you can go back to your main screen and it's going to tell you again which channel is running and how much um, your rate and how much has infused. When you are finished with your IV or it's been discontinued, you can hit the channel off button and you do have to hold it for a few seconds. Once it has beeped, you can release the button and it'll power down. And that is how you operate your Alaris IV pump.